What is going on guys? Today we are looking at Bruno Fernandez 90. A beautiful UCL card and most definitely one that is worth having a look at. 90 rated cam, 4 star, 3 star, no upgrade from that but it is a double upgrade nonetheless. He has got a little bit of pace. He's got a plus 5 on it which is nice for the upgrade he's got now. Shooting wise has got to buy a plus 3. We've got passing by 3, dribbling by 3. Defended by two and also physical by three. In terms of play styles, we had six already, so he has kept the same. So at the minute, the streak of no play styles being upgraded has stayed. He's got incisive pass, play style plus, pinged pass, long ball pass, flare, first touch, and also the Traveller. If you was wondering how these do get upgraded, they've got to win their two remaining matches in the UCL group stage and also qualify for the UCL round. So they basically can have a plus two, which I thought they would do, with Haaland being 92, Bruno 90, 89 Saka. I expected them to only have a two upgrade because a free making Haaland, the potential 95 would be disastrous it'd be crazy how high rated he could be by december whereas bruno hasn't had an upgrade on the weak foot which i think really would have made this card even better but i do think he's still a very good card passing wise should be exquisite dribbling's nice shooting's very good hunter is definitely well it's got to be the way that you go for him hunter or engine i think actually depending on how you want him i think engine would give you what pace agility balance and what else does it give is it physical no, it's passing. Uh, so you probably don't really need that. I'd probably go Hunter then. The agility balance would be nice, but I think with the passing upgrade as well, it might be a little bit too flawed unless you really don't want him to have more shooting. Then you could just go with the engine. But Hunter would be my shout for just even more pace. Nice card. Interested to see the price. But let's see how he plays. I'd like to tell you about Skycoach.gg. They offer many features within the FIFA franchise, from FIFA coins to FIFA weekend league boosts, from trusted sellers, pro players, and are the best prices on the market currently. They have fast delivery, high quality services, lots of games, and also a cashback program. The more coins you buy, the more eligible you are for cashback options. So if you want to buy FIFA coins at the best price, click the link in the description of this video. It will be active promo code for 10% discount from my subscribers. All you have to use is the code JT11 at the checkout to receive this bonus. On to the video. Into Bruno's middle roll. Looking for a bit of space if we can. We can see that through ball. Oh, is it, it's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. There he is. Looking for the little dummy. Little fake out. Finds the shot and what a save from Pickford this time. Feels very, very quick on that turn. That is going to be a lovely one. You mix that with the incisive pass. You've got yourself a very, very nice dribbler as he goes higher rated as well. That's going to be a nice thing to have a look at and see. But the passing is going to be the number one spot. Incisive pass plus just seems to be very, very OP for a cam. Does manage to get it through as well there. Can we find him back? Looking for the another through ball. Gets it. Oh, it's a good block from Danilo. Ooh, open space for Bruno. Little over the top. Everything just feels really clean with him, which... Oh, okay. Not with Nkunku, definitely not. Try and ping one, try to ping one through the player if we can. But it just... I don't know. When it, when it comes to the likes of an Odengard, a Bruno... Again, pace may not be the, the biggest thing with their, their, their kind of card. But in terms of passing, it is always exquisite. Maybe not necessarily 100% uh, of the time. But most definitely at, like a solid 90%. You just know that the pass is getting to where you've asked it to. Into Bruno. Looking for a bit of a striker roll if he can. He's got a little bit of pace on him. Looking for that push back if we can. Try, I was trying to take the ball into the net, really, with the slide, but instead took a yellow card, probably. Good pass from Bruno. Looking for the run off him again, if we can. Find him in. Chest. Volley. Beautiful. I mean, the hardest thing with Bruno to, to really know if he's going to be completely worth it is going to... Oh, that is atrocious. Is going to be the price tag. With an upgradable card, it is the first promo, pretty much, of the game. I... I don't really class the night promo as a, a promo. It didn't have really a team or anything. So it will be interesting to see where these prices go. They're, they're upgradable, which is already going to add some value. Turn. Oh, I wanted him to turn. But whereas if he's like half a million coins, I, I just don't know if I could justify that. Even with an upgrade, 
again, we, we've still got to qualify, to be honest. The win two games, I, I just maybe don't see happening as much. It, it most definitely could, but again, with, with especially with a Bruno card, that's going to be the big thing that affects the price, but not until you've lost. That is going to be the big thing when buying these cards is you're going to have to buy and hope that they win because you don't get a kind of a discounted price for, oh, that's a ball good save from Pickford again but you don't get the discounted price until they lose and that's really the kind of hard part with them get a big header onto it Pickford oh my god I swear he's only 82 rated but what saves he's gonna catch that one. Oh no he's not looking for the one two it's just trying to get through but if you do have somebody of a very High level striker Bruno is going to be absolutely perfect to feed the ball straight in. As we know full well, the passing on him is going to be impeccable. I want to see him there if I can. Good turn. Get the finish. It looks a little bit like a Traveller. And he manages to get us back into the game. High rated cards at this point in the game as well is always fun. Because they just have that naturally better ability. Into him here. He's got, oh, I've, I've left that option go. Uh, can, I, can I still get it? Good defense. I don't know if he was offside there, but most definitely could have been. I missed it on the first chance and he might have had a run because he was still running at the very minimum. He's got that quick acceleration. It's very, very nice to see. The little turns, the little kind of divots in, in his dribbling is always a, a really good one when it comes to a cam as it makes it so much easier, especially at this point where defending, like I don't know if everybody else is in agreement, but most definitely it takes a little bit of getting used to. So you kind of get turned out pretty quickly by these very agile sort of players that can literally just turn on an absolute dime. Good interception from Bruno. Doesn't manage to get it back, but at least slows down their attack a bit. Can we get the little dink in? Good defensive chat there. But going into the overall forum then, four star, three star, great dribbling, passing is exquisite. The play style plus really works well with him. And I do think in terms of kind of getting the game, getting it by the scruff of the neck, he is going to be the perfect one in that middle. In terms of, in terms of the Prem, just purely for the fact that this is the biggest upgrade we've got so far, he could be one of the best, to be honest, if not the best cam in the Prem at this moment. Because KDB, to be fair, KDB does have his uh, flashback, which is a nice card. But whether I'd say he's number one, KDB's normal card, I think, is good. The four-star, five-star, so that is an argument, most definitely. It would be between him. I do like Bernardo Silva, but I do think the pace, even with the incisive pl playstyle plus, is not necessarily the biggest card in there. But he does have 92 dribbling as well, which is very, very good for an 88, must admit. To say uh, Bruno only has 86, the agility balance might kind of lower him down there if we take out heroes and icons, obviously, from the Prem as well. But in terms of them, you've got KDB, you've got the 90 Bruno, you've got Bernardo, and then I'd say sitting on the edge, maybe waiting for an upgrade is going to be Odengard. Again, could have a big one. If you manage to get the weak foot up to a 3 or 4, then most definitely he's going to be a very class card this year as well. But like I say, it all comes down to price. That's going to be the number one. Whether we get the upgrades to make him into a 92 is going to be the big shout, but... I really wouldn't be holding our breath. To be honest, I wouldn't be holding our breath for both. I'm hoping we do because group stages, that would be at least a minimum I would like. But we know full well what Manchester United are like. It's really not going well. But a nice card nonetheless. If he does come down in price once or if we don't necessarily win the first one and then it kind of shows us that we don't go through the group stage, the card will absolutely plummet in price, which then might be worth a pickup depending on a, how far that is away, because if we've got two more games, that's at least another month away. Whether we see a big price decrease if they do lose their next match, that could be then the point of checking, is it worth getting the card, or are we going to be in for another downfall of price if they don't win that next one? Overall, though, I'd say a solid... I'd, I'd say like a nine and a half. I think a bit more pace, maybe having that four star weak foot at this early stage would be classed as a very, very top end card already. But I think in terms of what I'm looking at, Haaland, Oshiman and Saka, they're looking at my main ones at this moment in time. Let me know what you think about Fernandez. Have you used him? What's your favorite cam? And I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.